Vince Mann. Well, hello there, stranger. Whew. You're a real bright and shiny one, aren't you? <laughs> I ask you for your name, but sadly you got no mouth to speak with, or hands to shake with, or nose to look down with. So we're gonna have to find another way. See, what you'll find is, even though you're no longer in your body, your body's still inside of you that makes any sense. So, if you understand what I'm saying, um, blink over my hand here. Ooh, well look at that. You're a blinking genius. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were special. You see all them poor souls down there, lost in the waves? I didn't choose any of them. I chose you. See, I, I just sometimes get a sort of a a hunch, or that's a better word. Notion? Mm, no better word than that. Ah! Premonition. A premonition when a soul's worth pulling up. Now, you see that tower out there? Big, scary one? That's where I'm taking you to see the gatekeeper, to be judged. I'm going to present your case, tell her the whole story of your entire life from prow to stir. Now if she's impressed, I get paid the Bitcoin and you get yourself a spot in her magnificent city. If she ain't, well, I eat seagull for dinner again and uh, you, well, <laughs> we don't have to worry about that, because I am the best orator you'll find on these sickly waters. Class A storyteller, believe you me. <laughs> oh, shut up, you trash birds. You had your chances. It wasn't my fault you were no good. Layabouts. Unsatisfactory. Clock watchers. I got some words for you. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. <laughs> so sure, maybe I'm not the most verbose storyteller out there, but... I know how to spin a yarn, if I'm given something to work with. And that's where you come in. Your life. You're gonna show it to me. I wanna see exactly what made you so absolutely great. So, just think back to the very beginning. The first thing that you can remember. I'm gonna send you there. But understand, no matter how much you like it, you're not going to be able to stay, all right? Every time you blink, you're going to jump forward in time. Could be a second, could be five years. That's just how this thing works. Alrighty then. I hope he's ready for this. Now, the next time that you blink, I'm going to send you back. Now, don't be afraid. And just... Try to enjoy it this time. Look at that sun. We've got a long, beautiful day ahead of us. Why are you smiling like that? You must re- Go get you some seashells. What do you say? You see that big spiky plant over there? Right over there. 
That's called Nagabe. The day really slipped away, didn't it? Oh well, days have a tendency to do that, I guess. Where's... Okay. Go ahead, kid. <laughs> Look at that! There's your little hand. We have to make him do this every birthday. <laughs> That's a great idea. Oh, you want to play along with mommy, don't you? Sounds good, honey! I'm sending it to my mentor next week. It has to be perfect. Well, sounds pretty perfect to me. Yeah, what do you like about it? What do I like about it? I like the music. That's very specific. Look at his little face. What do you think he's thinking about? Problems of the universe. So, do you think he's going to be smart? Uh. No, it's not derivative. At least I didn't think it was. Do you think you could tell the other members of the selection committee what I just told you? Right. Now, I'm sorry. I, I guess I just put a lot of expectation on this call. Okay, I understand. Thank you for considering my piece, John. It really means a lot. Oh, that's sure a little mess of color. Hey, we do not throw things in this house. If you're mad that you aren't good enough yet, you'll just have to keep working at it. See? That used to be my piano. My dad gave it to me. He loved music. Fled his home country just to have a chance to pursue it. God, he made me practice so much. I hated it at first. Okay, Benny. Are you ready to see something really special? I just don't want him to get a tat. Richard! What? That's the cutest thing I've ever seen! Yeah! What's wrong with that? We can't keep him. Can we? I mean, I'm pretty much definitely allergic, so no, right? No. We'll find someone to take him. But, while he's here, I say we call him Ernie. <laughs> Little Ernie. Fits him, doesn't it? Oh, he's so cute. He's so sweet. I think so. Oh, God. Now play the C major chord I taught you. Remember? There you go. Doesn't that make you feel happy? Like you just want to jump up and down? Now what about C minor? You remember how to play that one? Very good! Just one note different. But that one sounds sad, doesn't it? Amazing what a difference one little change can make on how a person feels. <gasps> sort of like me and your little friend on your piano there. She was in grad school studying composition. I never met anyone like her. I just prayed to God I could somehow keep up. I think she liked that I was a professor. Gave me a certain gravitas. 
in her eyes, you know, which I very quickly lost. God, she dragged me to so many places. It was wonderful. Where would you want to go if you could only go to one? Well, just remember to put on sunscreen. <laughs> Man, I gave you some unfortunate jeans, didn't I? Luckily, Mom gave you some good ones, so yeah, let's hope they balance each other out. I mean, I was a gifted kid, but he's brilliant. We need to get him into serious piano lessons. Yeah, sure, but you know anyone who might be a good teacher for him? What? I, I mean, in the city, sure. Not out here, I don't. I mean, I know someone who might be up to the task. She's very gifted. Richard, no one in this town knows anything. Maybe I'll just have to do it myself. Good idea. I think that settles it. But who's this mysterious woman you're talking about? I hope you're not in love with her. You know, I really was for a while, but then she revealed herself to be much stupider than I thought. Richard, what are you talking about? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh God, I have my interview in five minutes and I completely forgot to feed him. Don't worry, I already did. Oh thank God. For a moment I forgot what a great father you are. Focus on the interview, honey. I got this. Of course, sir. It's all organized into folders sitting ready on my kitchen table. They will literally be on your desk when you get in. What could possibly happen to the files between now and tomorrow morning? We are fine. When's he coming? I'm flying him out in February, remember? You know, I think he was pretty surprised that I could actually afford to do that. Hey, why not? You're a working woman now. I guess that's true. Don't let it go to your head, but yeah. Please let the cat know. It's time to use the litter box, though. Baby steps. He's got one eye. This is called a metronome. We use it to measure time so we don't get lost in the music. I want you to start using it before Grandpa comes to visit. You know, my father once told me, when I was about your age, the only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius, which might live on after you're gone. So I asked him, what about your children? Thinking, you know, I might be a work of genius just as I was. And he said, yes. I suppose, if you made a work of genius, I could live on through that as well. I haven't seen him in over 10 years. Can you believe that? I wonder if he'll even recognize me.
You really need to stay in time with the metronome, okay? Subdivide the time. 1e e and a 2e e and a 3e e and a 4e e and a 1e e and a 2e e and a 3e e and a 4e. E. You're off. You're off, Ben. You can't hear that? There you go, buddy. Okay, now keep a firm grip on it, just like that. Oh my. Well, don't think you like that, pal. Sorry, buddy. Turn around, L, so we can photograph you. I'm just really behind right now. Why don't you take photos in the backyard? It may not be interesting at first, but if you keep going back out there every day, you'll be surprised by how much it changes. You gotta eat by a coyote. My sinuses would be eternally indebted. What? Did you just say? No, I, I said I'm really worried. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. God, honey. I'm worried too. I know, sweetie. Ernie! Kid! Come to Papa! I know you're mad about last night, but this is ridiculous. What happened last night? God. What? Well, if he survived that, I don't know how worried we have to be. Okay, well, let's take this seriously, okay? He has one eye. That means predators can come up on one side and he doesn't even know. Okay? Let's take this seriously. Ernie! Come on, dude! So you're saying it's a coincidence that it disappears for weeks and then comes back with a huge belly? But Ernie's a boy. And you're sure about that? Uh-huh. And that was based on... The old distance. I'm still not understanding how you let this happen. I don't know. I didn't think about it. It just... It just happened. You just happened to find a stray cat in the alley. We keep it even though I hate cats. And now it just happens to pop out five more? I'm sorry. I didn't realize you hated cats. For a professor of signs and symbols, you're really bad at reading them. Okay, that, that's funny. And that's really witty. I let us keep him for Benny. And I'm happy about that. But I really can't have five cats around the house. It's just not sustainable. Okay. Well, maybe we can put them outside or something. Until we can find homes for them. 